How to use VAs for cold calling. VAs or virtual assistants are one of the best tools you can use out there for cold calling and real estate wholesaling. I know there's a lot of people saying, should I use a VA for cold calling? Should I not? Well, let's break it down because I truly believe that VAs can be an asset for you with cold calling. Remember in cold calling, you can either buy time or if you have no money, you can use your time without the money. You either need money or time. And in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to use VAs to leverage your time. You're going to have to probably spend some money with VAs for building a nice cold calling, wholesaling real estate operation. I'm going to break down exactly how to get it going. Let's get in the clip and let's learn how to use VAs. But before getting into it, remember you need to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. Hey Zach, I got a question. All right. What's up, Seth? Um, so I'm having a hard time with nailing down good, good VAs for cold calling. I've tried multiple different ones, mostly from the Philippines. Um, they speak great English, but they're just not really connecting with the homeowners. It's very transactional, just basic questions are not, you know, connecting with them as far as the, their, their motivation and just trying to dig a little bit and get more information out of them. Um, do you have any advice on, you know, maybe how to manage them better or just find better cold callers in general. Bro, uh, what mark are you in? Georgia. Georgia, dude. Uh, do you think that oh, we're in Georgia? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Were you born and raised there? Yes. When you say that people in Georgia, especially like Fulton County, it's kind of like a culture thing there? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Do you think someone who was born and raised in the Philippines – will understand that culture at all. No, definitely not. I mean, that's that's kind of what I thought, yeah. So, like, they're not going to understand the little tiny things, um, the little references, uh, you know, soul food. No, no one understands that uh, in the Philippines. They got their own amazing culture. It's amazing, immersive, beautiful, but it's different. It's hard for the connection. So cold callers aren't here to go connect to the seller and lock up deals. Some of them do. I don't, I'm not a big believer in it. My cold callers to do one thing. They just filter out for me. Someone says they're interested. They're, they're just asking, hey, are you the owner of this property? And are you interested? They say yes. Hey, that's great. Uh, can my partner, Seth, he's actually handles everything. So, okay, if he gives you a call back, what's a good time for him to call you back? And then Seth, which is you, gets to call and make that connection. You know, right, okay. Hey, so Hey, I, I went to Douglas High School here and, you know, right by the street there. VA, uh, VA can't do that. The point is, what's the hardest part of cold calling is just sifting through the nose to find that yes. That's all they're doing. They're doing the hard part. The yeses, you don't want the four pillars to be asked by the VAs. You want to start doing that. That's when you start building that connection. So when you meet them at the house where you get it locked up, the connection's already built with you, not them. Who's locking up the deals in your company? That I've got an acquisitions team that does it. Okay, have the acquisitions team do that. But the point is that that's the person who builds the con- – the rapport and connection. Okay. So just don't worry too much about, you know, they just need to find out whether the person's interested or not and then pass it to acquisitions and that's all there is that's to it. it. Okay. It. Okay. Cause th- their time is best spent doing that not locking up because th- they'll never be at, at your level or your acquisitions person's level. Okay. So, so I can get deals by them just asking questions and just seeing if they're interested they don't really have to connect with them i'm still going to get deals that way that's it like hey it's okay. it's simple man because like, if you're just feeding your acquisitions team people that just want to sell properties it's easy right that's how you want to make okay. for the acquisition acquisitions job is not to be going out here trying to close deals right right i mean not no, your vas yeah the vas yeah yeah, yeah right so- I know, i'm following you <laughs> You get cool. That answers, that answers my question. I appreciate it. No worries, man. Appreciate it. Zach, to kind of piggyback off that, like, yeah. so I have my VA. She asked like the four pillars. You're, you you recommend that, you know, she should only just focus on just getting a yes or no. And then I call them, build the rapport and get the four pillars, right? That's what I do. That Like, that's my personal recommendation. Um, I just don't think that VAs are, they're, who's locking up in your company? It's me. I just, I call whenever like, I get any information, I call them and yeah, like try to close a deal. Here's the problem. It's like, what if, let, let's say we do this. Like, let's say you and me work in the same wholesaling company. Okay. I build this great connection with Sally Sue, right? We're talking about uh, knitting. We're talking about whatever, her, her grandson. 
And then I'm like, all right, here's, here's my buddy, Jason. And you go meet him. It, the report, you got no connection. There's no connection there. She didn't right. tell you about the thing. Rapport is about them just 90% of it's just them talking to you. She doesn't talk to you. So she knows you don't know about Sally Sue or her Cocker Spaniel. The, the rapport is already set. There, there's no rapport there. So it, it's tough. So like, why would you, why would you have that VA do all the rapport building if they're not the one closing? So they basically like, I mean, I'm assuming these phone calls that they're doing is like, like less than two minutes. I mean, if all they're yeah. asking is it, two, you know, minutes. you know, why you consider an offer and then blah, blah, blah. Like, well, are right, you interested? Well, I can have, you know, my acquisition manager, Jason, give you a call. When, when are you free? And they schedule the call. That's it. Yes. I wouldn't put acquisitions manager. That makes it seem, I, I like the mom and pop approach. Hey, here's your partner. He's actually one going out, seeing the properties. Uh, okay. that's what I would say. I, I, I would, that's my best recommendation because it, the VAs, first of all, they, I, I don't want to like say anything bad about anyone who has an accent here, but they have accents. It's hard to build that trust just initially off the phone. You get a call from someone, you hear an accent they, they're saying it pretty quick. Like you can't really tell too much. Then you start getting the long conversations. It's like, Hey, this person has an accent. Are they from the U S you know, um, it, they just say yes. And then you got Jason who's like in the area, same phone number, like same area codes. Like that's the way I like it. Cause I want the rapport to be with the person locking up the deal and the seller. That's it. When my deals, I, I have no rapport about these sellers because the acquisitions guys doing it. Not me. That's what I found. Hey, I, other guys. I'll do try it. I'll that's try what it. I find. Cause the VA is here to do the stuff that I don't want to do. I love go. I, I love going to meet sellers, locking it up if they want to sell. I hate dealing with people that don't want to or not wanting to sell. That that sucks. If I just deal with all day acquisitions person deals with all day people who just want to sell, that's easy. Because your acquisitions person eventually, when you get one, uh, they should just be doing follow ups. They shouldn't be doing any marketing, and they should be dealing with people who want to sell. So that's kind of where we're at. It's a special skill. Thank you so much for watching that video today. If you want more free value for wholesaling real estate, remember to smash that like button and subscribe. Guys, if you want to join the best wholesaling real estate mentorship in the planet and join the wholesaling course that has the most people in it in the history of the world for wholesaling real estate, go to freewholesaling.com. It's free. There's no gimmicks. There's no upsells in this course. It is an absolute free wholesaling course. I've been told to charge thousands and thousands of dollars for it. I give it out for free. So like this video and subscribe. Join the movement for wholesaling real estate and go to freewholesaling.com and join my Wholesaling Houses for Real Facebook group. That is the largest mastermind in the country of like-minded wholesaling entrepreneurs who want to get connected absolutely for free and learn wholesaling real estate. Guys, I'll hope to see you there. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a blessed one.